right, something going on with your uh, mic or something? Hello. Okay, there we go. Say hello to the people. Welcome, chat belonging to Zach, Citizize, and in Borg. Yep. Okay, so now that we're here, uh, what, where are we going to start with first? <laughs> Cause I feel like everything could be just straight up like. Oh, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's actually let's let's get to the build divide stuff first, cause I feel like it's gonna be the quickest, and then everything else goes crazy too. Uh, let's see. So let me switch over. By the way, this is his model. Oh. This is him, by the way. Uh, anyway. So first things up is build divide. If you don't remember from the past thing, Build Divide is a upcoming TCG made by Anaplex. Its anime is going to air the same weekend as as Overdress Season 2. And next week... Actually, like, now I'm thinking about it, that date is actually, I believe, the, uh... Like, a, a day before the next product stream for, for Bushy Road. But next week, they're gonna, like... Co coincidence yeah <laughs> but like, next week they're gonna do a, a rule reveal let me see if I can probably uh... yep like we're gonna know all the rules about about this game we kind of know a little bit already uh, thanks to freedom duo who translated this uh, screen <laughs> And so, let's see, can I probably, like, uh, close this thing here? So, there's a main feature of the game, which is apparently aces and territories. Aces are important units that allow the player to expand their territory. And territory will be the base on your aces title. Will be, will be based on your aces title. I don't know what that means, but we'll know later. And territories are placed face down at the start of the game. You flip it face up when you play an ace with the same title, and they seem to have very powerful effects. So, come judging from this image, this is the ace, and this is the territory face down, and then when you play the ace, you flip the territory up. Sounds a bit like Awesome Will of Luck and Logic. Which... Where the heck did my Okay, here we go. Uh let me actually get these done. Hold on, just a quick second. What is this oh, one? Yeah. <clears throat> so So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, like, interesting how this will go, and we'll know more next week. I just kind of want to give, like, a short update on that. Also, uh, let's see, where's the image? It'll have a collab with Madoka Magica, which is, okay, just starting off the gate with a pretty interesting IP. I mean, it is their IP, so... So it's gonna be pretty interesting, like what happens, what they do with that. And then we got some more information on set two, and some of their upcoming aces for set two, which we don't even have info of set one, but. <laughs> so here, I f hold on, let me see, because I remember I had, yes, okay, this is what it is. Uh, this is a fan page that was set up, you know by uh for build divide so if i can find it uh these are the art of the upcoming aces there is vertiga who is a white leopard dude rebecca who is the uh multiple guns and guns accessories <laughs> Nar narcia who is a dancer I assume. And then Nola, who is... Ah, 
Sorry. <laughs> and then Nola, which... You know, I, I want... I can't wait till there's actually news on this, because it actually be dope. If you knew anything about the game. Yeah. That, that'd be really nice. Okay, but otherwise, there's not that much to go for, uh... For Build the Ride at the moment. That's pretty much it. Uh, shout to Bill TCG on Twitter, as well as Freedom Duo and the actual account companies out. Uh, now, uh, let's see. Hmm. You know what? We're we're gonna go to the vision thing because I think the gate ruler thing is something that really needs a lot of attention. So for those of you, for those of you who, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does need a lot of attention. Oh, God. So, anyway, for those of you who do not know, Vision is a, uh, a group, of, uh, like a, a collective known for, uh, known for, like, holding Carfight Vanguard tournaments on this Carfight area. They did, like, a big circuit in the summer, like, the last couple summers to, like, promote the game and everything. And so... After, be, be, so here's the kind of like build up for this. Bushy Stream Fest Online happened about two months ago. And at this point, we'd be like, okay, well, we had two months. We've seen three different uh, areas play standard, premium, and uh, MV premium. And by this point, we'd be expecting like, okay, we got all this information. Where's, where's the stuff at? And uh, it's been two months, no answer. So Vision has kind of decided, okay, what if we did a restriction list on our upcoming remote fight, uh, potential remote fight tournaments? And they asked for some feedback. And they showed the list they have currently. And within the span of two days... Everyone has collectively lost their damn minds. <laughs> for better or for less. Over this whole list. Especially some of the cards on here that are like, what? But, you know, I think we'll just start. Uh, mm, it's excuse me. Yeah, it's a, it's a format that is not official. It's not, it's not an official format. It's just. You know, would this help the community as like a test run? It's not official. It it can change. It's not like they're just hitting these cars and they probably ain't never gonna come back, right? Right. All right. So let's let's look at uh forbidden. Let's look at the start thing. We look at forbidden. Uh, Nui Dio. Jesus Christ, is that actually the text box? It's a novel. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at Nui Dio for real. That can't be the... Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> that is... Oh, my God. And we talk about Endominion being this giant box. This giant wall of text. You literally can't tell what the entire back half, bottom half of this card is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about create a card chrono thing. That card does not exist. Let me try to find an image of it. It's amazing. Oh. Oh, he's in. Uh, yeah, we're we're start. You missed the reveal divide stuff. We're starting. We're going next to division stuff, and then we're going to end on the gate ruler stuff. So we're kind of like talking about this. Uh, a lot of everything. Yeah, a, a lot of everything. Kind of catching up stuff. <laughs> what is this image? <laughs> It's taking like a year to find the image on the wiki. 
I was fine. I was fine to all time. No, it's not. It's not a video. It's it's our stuff. It's just a discussion here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that that another image I saw was just hilarious. I'm just gonna let that go. Okay, <laughs> but you know, while we move on, while we, you search for it, uh, so what's forbidden is Nui Dio has been cut out. Zazan. Song, is it Songster? Huang. Uh. Castile Diamondus. Whoever the Shadow Paladin uh, card was. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh. Magical Calico. Um. Jamio Congo. And that's primarily only for premium. And then. The overtrigger as a mechanic is banned in both premium and overdress, aka the entire format it was even brought in. So you, you just can't use it, it's gone. Does remove the whole mechanic? Sure. Nope. Can't do it. Nope, nope, sir. We don't care how busted premium is that could make up for it. Nope, <laughs> the answer is still no. Uh, so limit to one and premium only. Uh, Taro, the Genesis stand trigger, and then a choice lock in V. Both of these are V between between uh rate the Prism card and then Ellie, which uh okay at this point Ellie you you are a troublemaker you. <laughs> At this point, Ellie is just a, a giant <laughs> troublemaker. Like, you were just a PG, and then you got, like, a bad grade 2. And then ever since then, you got a G guard, which was literally banned. And now, here you are on a retrain, and you're almost just as busted. What what happened? Repeat offender. <laughs> yep. And then, also, for Angel Feather, uh... The, uh, the black, the black gravers, because I'm not going to call it what the original card has in this text, which is just, which is just, if you have a black vanguard, which I still can't believe that was let pass. And, uh, no, and the great three no seal can't be in the same deck. Like, so that's the choice limit. And then limit two in premium, uh, Grand Blue can only have two of column of the new Columbard, and OTT can only have two of the original Igashima. Which, at this point, there's only like, oh, hold on, I'm I'm assu I'm assuming because the pictures here, they mean the stride Ichikashima. Actually, I think no, I, I'm done. The the Great Two Ikashima has a different name anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's cool. And then limit four, just stand triggers as a whole. Because at this point, there were multiple decks that just can abuse stand triggers. And it just, and it's very, very powerful. It's very potent. It, it gets, it gets the job done and cr increased for like multiple, like big attacks. Whereas, uh, where, you know. You know, crits are supposed to be the best trigger, but if in stands it's kind of the worst. But it's mostly because like not only can he sex abuse the stands, there are also some stands that are just like really powerful by themselves because their own effects and makes them as big as they are. Uh, AKA uh. Have to limit pool I don't know. Oh, let's see. It says a lot about the game now, not back then. Alright. Alright. So, we go back here and we kind of like look at this. It's a. 
So everyone kind of had a problem with the first card, and everything went downhill from what I saw. Like, I didn't look at Vanguardians. I think I'm still banned from the, uh, I think I might be, I'm surprised we're not banned from the, uh, comments I made. But, uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, so Nui Dio, let me, so Nui Dio, which conveniently, because I had to look at the text box, I had to actually, like, I have to reread the card again, because I still don't have a Merkuma deck, and I guess, you know, it might be better just just to not buy it yet, because we don't know what's going to happen with Premium. Uh, but, you know, for those who don't know, here's New Adult's ability, which is uh, G-Zone. If you have five more units with the same name, we'll get to that then. Yes, people, people thought, well, I'll explain in a second. So, if you have five more years of the same card name and your Vanguard is grade three, Soul Blast one, stride it from face down, and for the battles that this unit attacked unturned, your opponent can only card call hands from his or her hand to Guardian Circle and must call f and, mu ugh, and must call five or more cards at the same time. And then when it attacks, you know, f flip, pers you know, generic flip. Stay in all your rear guards with the same card name as one of your rear guards. So basically just a bunch of, uh, it's just a basic multi-attacker if you've, uh, if you just have a board, but if you use its first skill to stride it, when he attacks, you basically have to call five to guard it, which that's a lot of cards to guard for a Vanguard attack. And, and you can't just be like, oh, I G-Guard. It's like, nope. I mean, actually, you can. You can G-Guard, but like, there's very... Because of the lack of like updated G-Guards, it's very hard to just be like, oh, I'll just G-Guard it. Bam, we're done here. <laughs> so, okay, so here's what... Here's the issues, right? I So far, from what I know, mostly from Twitter... I didn't even talk about the watch list. Well, we'll get to the watch list later. Screw the watch list. Watch list. It's a watch list. Wash these hands. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. So, what people were, th what I heard things like, people were complaint, were saying that New Ed Dio shouldn't have been banned, but rather choice restricted with uh, Huga. Yeah, what you heard? Which. Yes, because, well, for one, and so, you know, everyone says, like, oh, just choice restrict Nui Dio and Hugo, problem solved. And the problem is that there are different cards that can actually just, like, well, for one thing is, you, you have the problem of that's effectively banning it. Because while there are ways for Miracle to actually enable Nui Dio's ability to stride it's very very specific and it's very like very specific like you need like what metamorph and there's a few guys that copy names which is like you need like some met a multitude of metamorph foxes and uh like some other stuff i don't remember it's been a long time since i played murkumo forgive me uh and to play new dio and it's like well yeah but if you need do at that point New Ordeal is basically like neutered. Because Huga does it for one counter blast for free, and we're good. <laughs> and that's kind of what the whole thing was. Like, there's meant to be with Huga. And if you cut off from Huga, now you have to go build a whole nother deck entirely to, to like, uh, pretty much you have to build a whole nother deck to effectively use it for effectively one turn because you you kind of need all those minimal foxes as much as possible so at that point it becomes a dead card until they release until like what tomorrow tomorrow when we get a uh, the new Murakumo stuff it's like oh all the stealth fiends all have the same name it's like, well we're just back at where we started we're gonna restrict them too it, it's a it's an issue of by this point 
New A Dio is a ticking time bomb just mechanically because of Murakumo's mechanics. Yeah, no, that that's not how we do it. Like that's how that's basically what shot. Uh, you know, I, I hate I hate the comparison, but like that's basically what's going on with the needle fiber or hack of firebacks, which is like, you know, just ban every good tuner that gains advantage, and needle fiber just won't, and needle fiber won't be a problem. Until you get to the point where you, it's to the point where because of the way, uh, not just the, uh, not just the previous ban lists for, like, kind of hitting, like, synchro-based, like, cards, like, level eater, as well as, uh, other stuff. There's now literally a card, a, you know, there's Jet Synchron got banned. And now Jet Warrior is the I think one of the few cards that literally cannot be summoned. <laughs> it, ironically, it can I think it can only be summoned by Crystal Needle Fiber. <laughs> you can't even summon it with any other card because Level Eaters didn't so Quick Draw can't you summon it. Junk, junk sync, jet, I mean, jet synchron is banned, so you can't just summon it normally. You have to use the card to kill its own tuner. So it's like, what the hell? It's like, why waste everyone's time? It's like, just, just ban the card, get rid of it, have those cards come back. If they're problems, then you hit them. Because now you've just straight up just shot every other tuner. At a certain point, there's not going to be any tuners left. It's math rule five too. There's no excuse to keep needle fiber around for synchro. Mm -hmm. Like, you free in synchros. Like, what what deck's going to need needle fiber? Uh, pendulums. <laughs> the, the the only like archetype or archetype or mechanic that has been neutered to the ground so hard it's actually unplayable. But that's just me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like... How are you just gonna hit Electromite and then let Needle Fiber still at three? Like, that... Like, that... Like, like that's that problem. But, I digress. Uh, so, effectively, just... Nui Dio... I, I agree with the hit. Because choice locking is just gonna be a problem in the future. And while I was like this, it's like, uh, you know, doing anything else is just going to be a problem. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. We'll talk about that later in a bit. Uh, Castile Demonis also has a similar problem, but in a worse way. Because unlike, uh, hey, Speck. Uh, because unlike, uh, Unlike a uh, new dial, which can only work with one card, the Steel Demonos can look work with literally everything in Dark Irregulars and Dark States. Just hit every G3. No, you can't, cause it takes Gray Twos as well. So if there's a restanding Gray Two that can work on Vanguard. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't read the card. No, it's every card. Choose two cards. Put them into the soul and they get the effects. Oh my god. Damn it's it. it's, only, it's only the... And then, also, even if you do basically neuter every other grade 3 under the sun, you also have the problem of it has another skill, which is uh, when you soul charge, your front row gets plus 3. No one remembers that one. <laughs> No one remembers it because the second skill is so gosh dang busted that they forget. Oh wait, this gets giant. You mean tell me I have to deal with Shaharat and No Life King on a Vanguard and the rear guards can hit me can hit me like a like a 
Like a cop on a bad day? Like, no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> It's not. It's got to go. Because even if you do hit everything, well, and you're, this stand thing is still there. So it's like you could just do what I did with a old uh, gold, pa with gold paladin when, uh, at a point where like the uh, Garmor Strike came out and just make a, a like a multi-attack loop deck. <laughs> it just focused on stands. You just hit, hit, and you just uh, thin your deck so hard. Oh, yeah. Also, like, Assassin ain't even on the list. Well, I think Assassin's on one anyway. But, you know. And then you have Assassin in the mix. Things in. You also got Assassin in the mix to try and do all this stuff. So, it, it's just a problem. It needs to go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Zazan, unless you're new. Unless you're new. If you have any objection left to keep Zazan on this list, I might have to ask you to leave this, this we leave the stream. I'm sorry. It's, it's hard. It's too cute to be banned. Uh-huh. Hold on, what other cards are restricted? Card fight vanguard, uh. Let's see. Give me just a second. Rules. Let's see. You guys fight his rules. Okay, what other cards are in the list? Oh, you know, Dr. Roy Refros. Let's look at him. Let's look at this card. Ain't this a cute robot that has bad image? Gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Is that me or is it the. Uh. <laughs> I can't see this man. Let's see. And the but, tiny better images. He has a look. He he's cute. He's banned. Well, actually, he's restricted to one. He's restricted to That's one. Better. Uh, restricted. Wonder Ezel. See, one Wonder Ezel like Wonder Ezel got no shirt. He he's good for all the ladies. Look. Like he's he's restricted straight up. He's gone too. Uh, let's see. Oracle Think Tank. Restricted the first Vanguard Magical Calico. Look, it's an actual cat. It's a cute kitty. It's banned. Like, don't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't use that. Uh, it's cute argument here. Like, it ain't gonna work. Card is card has. Mm -hmm. I'm about to take your image off the screen right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take your image off the screen and kick you out this Discord. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but on the real, the, the card just homogenized so many decks in premium because they basically became vanilla beatdown. I thought that it's ugly arm. Shut up, Spec. <laughs> But yeah, it basically just homogenized so many premium decks combined with the other like vanilla support. It just became too much. And if something's gotta go, it's gotta be the card that literally just like plus tens, you know, exaggeration. But it's basically just like a giant plus and just can like turn one and just idea beat on you down. Paper. Yeah, need a deal on paper. Just terrible execution. Unfortunate. Because I really was. Hoping for like a nice deck that could probably run vanillas, but when the advantage was just so much that this card and every other card in that revival collection, in that uh, premium collection gave for uh, generics, it's like, Jesus. Like, no other deck was really worth running unless the, the actual card pool was just godlike. Like, it make a shadows or dark irregulars. Speaking of shadows, uh, I forget what this card was. I know it's a witch, and it's the uh, the uh, right skipper for shadows for Blaster Dark and the Black PBO and everything. I hmm, 
I agree with this because it's also just nasty. It's just really nasty. It, I mean, if we're talking about nasty stuff, this must be like ten times as long. Yeah. It, like, it's nasty, but it is like, it effectively abuses the, uh, the current stride rules. Because, like, oh, it just right skip. And most of the other cars that, like, hard right skip have, have been kind of hit. Yeah, she's pre rides, which again basically right skip makes the makes that you don't have to wait, and there's no real counterplay. Like what you gonna what you gonna do? Like you don't have a hand trap. This ain't bank Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> what you gonna ash my blaster dark? <laughs> that car is useless. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't just change the charge rolling back to this list. Uh. Probably, I'd argue, probably get too confusing because, like, you have to, like, remind everybody, like, hey, for this tournament, the stride ruling's also been changed. So, I think just kind of starting off with the list of cards getting hit instead of, like, changing the fundamental mechanics of the game. And I, I say that, but two triggers have been restricted, so I, <laughs> I can't. Two triggers, which are, like, part of the whole game, are just kind of, like, MIA. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, but card, cards also busted. I really didn't see anyone really fight for this, which is like these two were like basically like yeah, now y'all can go. Same with Songster and Magical Calico, because Calico basically just makes OTT just stack crits dot deck, which it was already, but it with common. <laughs> With a combination of like Zazon and like all the other like vanilla support that accelerated GB, it effectively just like every turn two crits easy with a bunch of powered up rears. Enjoy it. <laughs> and I've gotten into the point where it's like, oh, you, you do hit me. I guess I could just wait for the oh, look at that. It's a heal. <laughs> it's a heal I decked the rest of my deck out for. Cool. And Songster, Songster is a loop, a very powerful loop, and what, you know, Songster is a loop, and while it is a very hard to do loop, it is still a very powerful loop. Like, the card is... It's like, okay, but loops are... Even so, like, just looping and looping until your opponent's dead is... Has always been, like, disliked at Vanguard, right? It's something that the that people just don't like. And NG was actually a thing they didn't want to happen. Which begs the question, what the hell happened in V? But... But that's a discussion for another time. So, these two also didn't get really much discussion. I think everyone kind of looked at these for a month. Yep! That's that's about right. Uh, Huang, Huang is effectively like it. Rem it removes the uh, the ability to damage deny, because they're just like plopping on board. You gotta fight. You gotta scrap. You gotta fight hands. You can't just you can't just pass turn or do something else. You gotta like you gotta do something. You gotta actually like attack. And for like a lot of decks that like currently that like need to like damage the nine or to like help win, that's very hard to do. While this card's on board, turn one. I don't know. It seems kind of petty from Vision, if you ask me. We know what you. T I know what you're talking about. No, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you can't just be doing. Yeah, I guess. I mean, this is basically just like a giant premium like restriction. Imagine not playing your prison to rest Vanguard. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is that is true, but that's only like three clans that no one plays anymore. 
Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, if they were good. <laughs> okay, enough Japan. Uh, so also speaking of cars, like everyone's convinced. Yeah, no, you need to go, Jamio Congo. The fact that Jamio Congo and Rene are t were are two pretty powerful cars by themselves. Yet people and got choice restricted IRL, but people would rather still play Jamio. Like, keep in mind, Rene is a card, is a stride, that is literally okay. Let me dominate two of your guys. They get what 10k, 15k in a crit, and they can hit you. And I still got my other three attacks. I could also probably like have a card that could dominate. Right? That's a lot. That's a pretty powerful card. Wouldn't you agree? Someone probably ran the numbers at some point. Like, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. But I'm just saying, like, most, like... One more card. Yeah, but the fact that Jamio Congo was a card that literally just, like, deletes it. Just basically like, gets rid of your hand, so that makes it harder. Like, they get a garbage... They basically, like, restrict those two, and... The majority of new Batala players still just chose Jamio over Rene, despite the fact that <laughs> Rene literally just says, it's literally just like, I, I'm swinging at you with two, two rear guards, your rear guards, with the facts, and I could, <laughs> it's just like, dang, like, I can shoot your hand, it just, it just shows the power of Jamio Congo. And it's even better because they made a basically a different Jamio Congo with the with the what's his name? Uh, Yasu not Yasu uh I forgot the name of the new new Batama boss. Hozan? Hozan, yeah. They made Hozan, which is effectively just a more balanced version. Which is like Oh, okay, you call something? Okay, drop a card until you get four left. So it punish it enables like punishing like it's interactive in that it punishes you for overextending, but you can actually like do something to counteract it. Like it's not it's not it's more balanced. I wouldn't say it's great, but it is like definitely more balanced. Yeah, <laughs> and and you can pl still play and you can play Rene with it, so I'm cool with it. Uh, see my deck profile when that set releases. <laughs> okay, so last on the forbidden list, the over trigger. Also, I like how the music just like comes on, <laughs> comes in <laughs> for the last card. <laughs> For the over trigger as a mechanic. Well, it's you know I think Zen said it, but it's basically like a a, a, a super trigger, but it, it is kind of a mechanic as well. It's it's, it's still a mechanic, but you know semantics. Anyway, uh, over trigger getting hit in both premium and overdress. Um, I don't know. I think it's I think. Hitting it in overdress is fine. I don't know about hitting it in premium. But I'm kinda mid on whether or not it should have been hit in premium, but I kinda Oh, excuse me. But I'm kinda like okay with uh with it being gone in overdress. I think the format would be better just with it gone in the real game. Sorry. Like Well, hmm. I don't know if I go that far, but me, I don't know. It feels like something about the over trigger itself could just be changed. That just isn't like go sicko. But you know, 
regardless, I'm cool. I'm cool with it not being in D for now. And in premium, uh, and for premium, I I think premium could like sustain it, but I understand. But that's kind of like my idea. What do you think? Yeah. Let me hit this cop up though, real quick. What the heck is this? The world we never know. Until like until we actually like ask more. Right. Well, anyways. Uh on to limit one. The only one on the limit is to premium uh Taro. Card is busted. Let's, let's stop the cap. <laughs> the card is busted, allows for multiple resands. As well as, and can really be loot and need specific like cards in the loop, which is AKA the uh, soul charge, the uh, soul chargers, the the grapes and oranges. So, you know, so long as you have a grape or an orange in your soul, like you, you can pretty much like thin your deck, loop it continuously over and over and over again. And one, one's okay. I think one is okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think one's okay. I think the problem was you had four, and you just constantly looped them nonstop. We just got, got the point. It's like, well, it I, they can basically infinitely attack until they mess up and deck themselves out. <laughs> So yeah, I, th I don't think anyone was really fighting at this outside of like uh, Genesis mains. British mm -hmm. Pacific one. Uh, on to the choices. This reminds me, a lot of games actually have like the limits on certain skills that can then flip that loop, like a loop break. Yeah. Like, like this thing activated four times, done, frozen, no more. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. That, that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, so under choices, uh, then you could probably help me on this one because I have not played uh, V Prisms. But I, I know that uh, I haven't even really like. I don't think I. I, don't, I really got bored of watching the premium finals, so I just kind of didn't watch the V Premium at all. So I'm sorry at the BSOs. But I'm assuming, like, I think the really issue is, like, uh, Vert in the Prisms as a whole just, like, gains so much advantage. And then you have Ellie, which is effectively, like, which is very similar to her G-Guard version, where it's just, like, I get a bunch of shields, and my defenses are powerful. So it's, it's basically just a giant hit to the consistency of, do you want to play a different deck Basically, do you want to play a different deck, or do you want to stick to the offensive power prisons, or play a deck that can run Ellie and keep that defense? It's like a recurring trade-off. Yeah, that's, it's a very trade-off. I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, I have no idea how the hell uh, the Angel Feather combo works, and I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, personally, I don't personally care about in th this oh, the V Angels anymore. But you know, I I know this card like gets a bunch of crits, and then uh, Angels can basically just like switch to damage zone in now and just dr damage check. So I'm I'm pretty much assuming that the uh, the choice was effectively just like. You play regular Gavrail, just vanilla Gavrail, or you play vanilla uh, No Seal. You can't play both. You can't make the hybrid. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I say as uh -huh. 
as Gavro can still probably much just like still kill you regardless. So, it, you know, it's fine. I don't have really anything to say. I don't know much about the angels. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, limit twos. We have Col the V Columbard being limited to in premium and Ikishima, original Ikishima being limited to in premium. Basically meaning that in this list, Ikishima is so powerful, she's been restricted six times. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being so busted you've been, your, your, the, your name has just been banned from the game. <laughs> uh, Something been everywhere. Yeah, but uh, I'm s I forgot what Columbard did. Columbard, Columbard. It fetches anything. What the hell? <laughs> is that the search? Right. What What is with the new? Columbard V series, uh, when placed CB one, search your deck for one card, pull the drop, shuffle, call it to one card, drop to be. Oh yeah, then no, that's actually that's actually pretty nutty. It's fine V because you don't have all those like busted cards, but in premium where like everything is just like straight up just powerful and you enable like multiple attacks, like it's just it is pretty good. So yeah, I can see it getting two. Plus, it's a it's a free tutor. Like, I can see limited two. I don't really see anything more than that. It's not that crazy to me. Like, not worth just like banning it outright. Uh, Ishikashima, considering that uh Silent Tom is still around, I think limited two is fine. Also, don't really have a problem with it. Again, this is this is also like my knowledge was like not really playing premium since like a certain point. So again, I apologize for not having all the information. And now we're at the probably the weirdest one for some, which is the limit the stamp triggers to four and premium. And I'm assuming this is primarily because one you have decks like uh um Blade Master and Valkyrian, which are just like multiple attacks that can drive check and you can restand drive check again. It's kinda like a an odd loop. You need to stand up as a bad choice? Um, I, I guess in context of like the actual like stands, yeah, I guess because like some decks don't abuse stands as hard. There are also some stands that just have wild effects, like Cursed Eye Raven. Like straight up, which is like a plus two. Which is like a plus one in a deck that gets so much value hey, enjoys uh yeah if they don't want to rather the rules yeah it makes sense like the alternate is just changing a lot of rules which which then goes into a hot mess I mean I mean the sand looks weird it's like a it's a massive collateral damage head. like system wide yeah
Like if they really want to do something, they have their errata and just choice to trick stuff. But I don't think it's right to limit every deck option to just four. Yeah, I, I guess you see, right? Because like some decks actually don't run that many stands, or they run like six, and they're not really like that broken. And like it, it'd been better just kind of like hit some of the problematic stands and not the, the trigger as a whole. So I can I can see that argument. Hit. Is a lazy hit? Mm hmm. Uh. Oh. I don't know about. Well, yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, machine dupe is kind of busted. <laughs> This is just because you're a robot does not mean that we're allowed to hit death spots <laughs> just because machine dupe is still powerful. The core, are you gauge? <laughs> yeah, they don't need to make this list. I mean, at the end of the day, the whole thing is like it's a it's a community list to help, like, to help kind of like ease some of the formats problems for a time until we get the actual restriction list. Because I've, I've talked to the division people, they say literally this this list goes away the moment we get like a new thing or like something that doesn't change. So, so this five is five years from now. <laughs> yeah, five years from now. No, but I'm all serious. Like it's it's really just like a, a temporary thing for right now. It's not meant to be a big thing. And everyone kind of just like, and I saw people on Twitter. There's probably some people on Facebook. I didn't recheck uh, Reddit yet if anyone posted it there but it's just supposed to be something for the community and i'm i'm just kind of upset at like how so many people are up in arms about it and trying to like fight the vision people it's probably because vision's the closest thing they have to a competitive format in these times what a way to play competitively yeah, I, I suppose so. Also, how you doing, Notorious? Nice to, nice to see you come through. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. And now we can actually talk about the watch list. This open change doesn't stop it from being talked about. So it seems iffy. Yeah, I, yeah, no, it was like. You can still open the change and community and talk about it. Like that that was what's supposed to have happened. But everyone just like took it way too far and just like it I, I just I know some behind the scenes stuff. TLDR is a giant mess. <laughs> but you know, regardless. On to the watch list I mean, though. You have vision members fighting vision over the changes publicly. <laughs> uh anyway, on to the watch list. Uh man, I'm it's been so long, uh some of these cards I've forgotten. Uh <laughs> but I remember the stand for Pale Moon, that uh soul charger you put it back, uh Oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> uh no, you put it you put it back, uh you put it back, put any card in into the soul. Uh, that was a that was a card that you know I've kind of changed my opinion on. I was like, eh, the card is fine, but after thinking about, it, I was like, yeah, it's still, it's still a free tutor, even if it is GB one locked. Again, the issue with Zazan and and his homies have kind of made that like a moot point now. Uh, so you know, so I I see it like it's definitely a card to be watched if like. Pale Moon or Dark States get like a bunch of like support that just makes it so pretty powerful. I think Hari is like a deck people are, like watching out for if they were to play in this format. And speaking of uh, cards that would be with 
are crazy. Uh, Leonard in Overdressed is Leonard. Oh, let's talk about the Overdressed ones. Uh, Leonard and the Alden uh, are the two best decks in the format currently. One draws you two cards and puts a card on board. The other is able to uh, hit like Narukami and then call another, almost a whole nother board out. Very Pale Moon esque. Uh, what do you think about them being on a watch list? Personally, I would have put them at two, to at least four now. You put them at two now? I mean, it would generate enough. It would generate some pretty interesting buzz. Is what I'm thinking. I suppose. Some watch list. You put them at two now. You get the generation. You get the discussion generated. And you probably get some more testing. And then we'll probably come to some united consensus. Okay. And just to drag something out. I see. Uh, I'm not opposed to the idea. Might be an interesting thing. Uh, next is uh, two loop known car notorious cards. Uh, Tamba from Rakumo and uh, there's a Popery for Bermuda. Uh, Popery is basically like a free uh, on. Is it free on hit or on attack? Well, basically, what she does is like, like when she, when she finishes her fight, you bounce a card and call a card, and you can basically just like loop her cons. No, it was on hit, uh, bounce a card, call a card. Because I remember the the thing was you had her with the uh, one of the uh, the Melody girls, and which allowed you to hit, even though you weren't. Which allowed you to hit even though you weren't uh, allowed to attack. Yeah, Fina, Fina, yeah. There we go. Thank you, Spec. <laughs> yeah, it's like you basically have Fina, and she, it just became an infinite loop of hitting until you just couldn't, like, hit through. Uh, I'm cool with Tama being on watch list. I just don't think the Murakumo loop's even good, so. It's not, it doesn't have the strength, same power as a uh, Songster or Taro to really justify it. And it requires way more pieces. That aren't as easily searchable, despite being a deck that superior calls. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Popery is definitely like very toxic. I think. Yeah, I know both of them are infinite loops, and definitely, they should be on the watch list. I just don't know if they're going to be problems for this type of format that justify, like, actually still hitting them now. Very they're, watch list worthy, yeah. It's definitely, like, if if something does go wrong, I am perfectly agree with yeeting them into the sun, without a doubt. Right. Uh, so... Next is, uh, I forgot this name. It's a Grand Blue Gray 2 that, uh, you swap a card in hand from, Green Shade, yeah. Uh, swap a card in hand for a card in drop. Uh, Dingus Final Watch List, I don't think it's insane right now. I think this primary which is Watch List because, uh, Columbard is hit, so it's like hitting both of them. Or choice restricting them seems kind of like a little bit too much right now, but could be a problem in the future if it turns out the green shade, the combat hit ain't enough. Understandable. Uh, I believe currently, let's see, where is the uh, fighters' rules? Uh, it's dark irregulars, restricted to one, Imanic Assassin. Uh, Assassin's that one currently, and it's at the watch list too because it's still a busted card. Yeah, it's, it's hard to know what to hit in, in Grand Blue because they, because a lot of their pieces, like ever since, uh, like mid G, it's become kind of like this well oiled machine of they all work together really well. So it's hard Grand to know Blue's what to do. Other Grand Blue cards. Yeah. 
Uh, so, grab a card, switch game of card, switch game of card, a bunch of combos that are very powerful. So, I, I, I'm fine with them being on the watch list. Assassin is on the watch list because even though she's at one, it's a card that literally just becomes 20k, can call itself back from the soul. If there's a card that, like, shoves a, a card from, uh, uh, because of the rulings, if there's a card that shoves a card from, uh, from Field and Soul, you could just call back Assassin in the middle of attack and just continue looping. Keeping it on watch is fine for now, because they did hit Castile, so you're not in, in danger of getting an okay to death as you are, but if it did, but if it's still a problem from what, from whatever happens next, I'm okay with it going, being yeeted along with Popori and Tomba too. <laughs> and then Purple Trapezes is a Purple Trapezes. Can't even play the card because it costs $80, but... <laughs> it's a but, uh, Pale Moon card that loops. Yeah, it's... Pale Moon... Uh, Pale Moon has two cards that, like, if... Something goes wrong in Dark States or in, like, V Collection, where they just become, like, insane. Getting them out, getting them out, too, would be, like, and let's just say this. These two are, are on the watch list for a reason. <laughs> they They haven't really had that problem yet, but the future is unpredictable, and we don't know what's going to happen. Considering, considering that it's taken over two months to even get a real list. Maybe another two months before we see an actual one again. Yeah, it's kind of just like, until we know the fate of premium, we don't know if these cards are even going to be still around. So, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of cards in premium that like, I, I don't envy the, the team trying to see if they want to even do a list. I don't envy him. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so. Overall, final thoughts. The, uh. The list is okay. Like, it's not meant to be perfect. There's so many cards and interactions in premium and V premium and soon in overdress that it's just hard to just be like, oh, uh. Oh, we gotta hit this, 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 uh, the kitchen sink, uh, your grandmama's, uh, futon, we gotta hit all of that, we gotta get rid of it, clean up and start over, it's like, it's hard to do that, and I don't envy the actual team who's putting together a list on what they should do. There's too many variables. Too many variables. And who even knows? There might just be an entire series of cards in set three that fixes everything. Ha ha ha, no. There could be. There's another rare Too much to say we just triggers. go in vanilla melee? Uh, spec, we are in a vanilla melee. We literally are in a vanilla melee. This demon started a literal vanilla meta. As in vanilla cards cars don't have effects anymore because of him and everything associated with him. Yeah, the, at the end of the day, the, the list is fine. No, that's cool. It, it it's, it's something for casual, and I'm, I'm more upset at the actual reaction. Also, uh, unban everything and creating new gear hand, hand traps. That's how we do it. That's how we end it. <laughs> Hand traps for you, girl. Let's go. Ash. Hand traps and Van Gogh hell breaks this immediately. Okay, let me take some sip of water quick before. You want tables flip? Uh, no, no flipping tables. All right. Uh. I don't know, man. Let's let's take a like let's Vanguard. take a short like break. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's take a short, quick break because I gotta like also uh, stroll the happiness collector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
yeah. All right, let's uh, take like a like a quick break because I also gotta like put in all that stuff over the the gate ruler stuff. So we'll be back in about like f what five minutes. So give us just a bit of time. Where's the intermission?
And we're back, guys. <laughs> sorry for the. Hello, for everybody. The, we're back. Yeah, sorry for the uh, the break. Had to refresh our stuff because we went through the actual like happy part of this section. <laughs> Because from this point onwards, we're about to walk walk into depression. <laughs> so, uh, Judo, you know, I'm, I'm going to let you set up up until we got to this point. But first, let me get a little brief introduction of everybody, what's going on. So, first off, if you don't know, Date Ruler is a TCG that was cr primarily created by the, uh, the original creator of Buddy Fight. I, I forget his name, but, you know, for the rest of the program, we're going to name him Ikeda. We're going to... His name is Ikeda. You know, we're just going to loosen... Yep. Lo, lo, uh, shorten it to that, and we're just going to keep going. So, Game Rule is a, is a game that has... To, to say it's had some rocky PR would be, this, be like saying that uh, Bill Cosby has had some has some interesting dates it, it's been it's been a lot it's been a lot it's been a lot and it's it, it's a lot i, I can't i can't even Those tell you uh you i think didn't you miss the build the find a spec but that was like already beginning and that will be next week i'll probably do like I might do like a just like a, a YOLO video and just see what we do here. Uh but anyway. Oh, hello. How you doing? Uh so <laughs> uh I'm a, I'm a lit I've kind of been talking a lot for this thing. Of course on my channel, but uh I'm gonna let Judo kinda set up how we got to what happened this week. So take it away, buddy. How far back do you want me to go? Uh, let's see. Let's let's talk about the. Let's go up until the the lawsuit. It's pretty much everything involving Ikeda PR himself, and then we'll get to like the final straw. Right here. So. Want me to give a quick primer on the origins of Gate Ruler? I mean, we we don't really. I mean, if you if you, by orders you mean kind of like the like the fallout between Ikeda and Bushy, maybe yeah. No. Right. Yeah. So go ahead. All right. So in the beginning, there was Buddy Fight, and Buddy Fight was made by Ikeda. Well, Ikeda helped with the creation of Buddy Fight, and things were good. Until they weren't good. And so at some unknown point, about one and a half-ish years in the Buddy Fight's development, during the era known as Hundred, Ikeda left Bush Road on pretty mixed terms. Pretty mixed terms. For you see, Ikeda has a problem. A very specific problem. He can't keep his mouth shut. And because of that, he kept leaking stuff about buddy fights. No, I'll put a let me let's put a pin on that because it'll be incredibly relevant to later. All right. So uh, fast forward just a little bit longer. Andy Kata is working with Force of Will Co. That mess of a company known as High Fi now. Still a mess of a company. Like, don't get me started on ice by Enforce Will. Anyway, they're working on a game called Dominator. Dominator. Right? And because Force Wilco is one garbage mess of a company, they ship Ikeda and his game Dominator all the way back to Bushy Road. Which is incredibly hilarious, considering the fallout that is going to be occurring soon. Put a pin on that. And then after about like two, three -ish years of free labor from Onikata's part. Kind of important-ish. We go back. We go a bit forward. And now Dominator's gone. 
dead and buried, apparently. Fisher might revive it. Who knows? Who cares? And now we have Gate Ruler. A brand new, completely original, not all related to Dominator or TCG game by Ikeda and only Ikeda. The sole ownership of Ikeda and Ikeda 2 Company for Gate Ruler. Dayu. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. to that. We'll get to that in a bit because I just really remember on that one. <laughs> Hold that. We'll get back to it. Oh. We'll get back to Dayu in a, in a minute. Alright. So, during the end, so coincidentally, not coincidentally, Gate Ruler got announced on the same day that Buddy Fight died. Like, that corpse wasn't even cold yet. It was still avoiding its bowels before Gate Ruler showed up. I mean, so, yeah. Hey guys, I made Buddy Fight. I make Gate Ruler. Please, it's, please buy my game. It's, uh, what, what series was it? I remember, I remember the show, but basically, like, it's like having, like, a, a major character get shot and die by an assassin, and then 30 minutes later, the, uh, the main villain pulls out the speech saying, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am now running for mayor. <laughs> oh, I am, it's like, it's like. It's like what when Brian died in Family Guy, and like a next episode, here's a brand new dog. No, that wasn't even next episode. That was literally like fifteen minutes All later. Right. All right. Anyway, it's like I kind of like that dog more. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, but back back on track. <laughs> it's ba basically just the 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 corpse wasn't even cold, and man just straight up said. My time is now. One second. Okay. Yeah, by the way, I also kind of like, for those of y'all, I kind of like turn off the music a quick moment because I kind of wanted Jiro to kind of talk about because it it's kind of, it is pretty serious. I want to actually want to kind of like, in the meantime, kind of look for like a, maybe like a, 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 I don't know, I guess I'll just do the generic, uh, play the Persona 5 Beneath the Mask for 10 hour version. To the lawsuit. Uh, so here's a part that doesn't get mentioned a whole lot when people discuss this. So while Ikeda in his grand wisdom was trying to advertise Gate Ruler on Buddy Fight's corpse, he made the erroneous decision of making a ton of comparisons to Buddy Fight about Gate Ruler setting lore and characters and i mean a ton of references hey can you, can you, you know the gameplay references. oh yeah can you also hand me the picture of a not jackknife <laughs> uh sure <laughs> now just... funny thing about not all right let me pull up first Absolutely. I think this is the uh, Buddy Rare. Let's just open up the Buddy Rare image. I would do like all these things. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, wow, this image is actually booty. Uh, <laughs> worse than I thought it'd be. Jeez. All right, let me get the image. Okay. But for those of you aware, this is a Jack Knight Dragon. A car from the fir from the first like buddy fight series, and uh, let's see what dragon. I should probably find like a picture of uh, is it Gold Ritter? Yeah, it should be Gold Ritter. And there's and Jackknife has a version. Called Jackknife Gold Ritter, which is kind of like its super version. I think this is it. Why the heck did it not oh, show? Close enough, yeah. Yeah, kind of. 
I mean, it's close enough. I think there's like probably a different version somewhere. But so this is basically just Jackknife Gold Ritter. Look at that nice golden armor. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, look at that nice golden armor. Like it, it, it's very similar. And, uh, then this card was revealed somewhere, like, around, this is set one or set two? Uh, in between, I think. Yeah, this was, like, in between set one and two was revealed as a card. And, I'm not saying that all dragons look the same. Like, that's dragonist. But, I, I think you can kind of tell there's, like, a little bit of a resemblance like it's like it's probably it like his worse, like it gets worse. It gets, it gets worse. Like, oh boy. The name for this dragon is actually Jack Knight's real name. I'm not even kidding. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yes. Uh, what was this, what was the card's name? Uh, Finder or Finder or something. One of the two. Oh yeah, Finder. I think it should be on his, yeah. uh, the actual... Yeah, it's in the file name. Jackknife. Uh, should have a name. Does it, does it not want to tell his name? Yeah, find our the 100th. So, in a way... Does it tell you which find guard this is? Or like find guard or something? It matters too much. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a... I'm assuming it's pretty much like an ancestor. Like the form okay, is... Okay, do me a favor. Uh, read this flavor text out for me. My friend who is now far away. A time traveler next to a green dragon. I'll imitate it... I'll become friends with an early and become and become their buddy. Uh -huh. Okay. You can't he, get more on the nose. Be, because it's, I don't have my cam on. Uh, I'm sitting back in my chair just realizing this man really just created a literal copy of Jackknife. <laughs> It's literally jackknife. It's literally yeah. Walmart brand jackknife. <laughs> Walmart's too good for this. This that this that Sam's Club jackknife. There we go. So you you didn't even get Costco. You got Sam's Club and now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Here's the best part. Does the though. hero copy captor, Captain Answer clone have any fun text? That card never came out. Or it's like in set four, apparently. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, that card's well, set four. Clearly out there. Well, well, that's basically just to, to move on now. Uh, that's basically just an example of kind of like some of the cards that Gate Ruler has been using and kind of like this thing which is cool as you know it's it's, it's cool because it's like it's like a little like nice little like uh kind of points that buddy fight but it, the, stuff like that is like when it like gets a bit too much which right. leads to the eventual issue that happened where akita got is being sued by bushy road actually surprisingly Definitely two separate incidents. I mean, so, yeah, true. I mean, it's more like it's it led the way to the incident that had a kid to get sued. Not exactly. Kind of, it's weird. I'm trying to transition into <laughs> I'm trying to transition into you telling about the lawsuit, man. <laughs> just, just say it. So fast forward. The gate ruler's release date. Oh, like, actually, like, sure. And then, here's the, imagine a shot picture of the show's CEO whose name I completely forgot. 
Kid Donnie. Kid Donnie, yep. Kid Donnie is like seeing like tweets from like Vanguard players playing gate rolling. It's like, what? Nani? Not at all. And then fast forward like a week later. And suddenly. Well, not even like a week, like a few days later. Bushro is suing Akeda for some years ago raised him leaking shit about buddy fights. So from years ago, pumped right on top of Gate Ruler's release. Hmm. Complete coincidence. Yeah, co- completely coincidence. Complete, co- complete coincidence. Complete coincidence. Like, like Bill Divide and over in the next uh, Bushy stream. <laughs> complete coincidence. Yep. Uh. But. That creates big mess. Yeah. So that's basically just like at at the point like the basis point is like Ikeda has an issue of not being able to control him, to control himself and keep his mouth shut at points. Very much. Because I, uh, what was that story you telling? I was there a story you were telling me about where he he kind of went on like a a Twitter rant or something. It's like a bit later. I mean, for later. historical context, apparently, EK has been dealing with people giving him trouble for like 20 something years now online. In general, in Japan. Some historical context for why he seems to have a really short fuse. Anyways. Yeah, so. In general. Ikeda has a real has had a really big problem with arguing with people on Twitter about like gate ruler rulings and things, or people not understanding the rules. Which is it's kind of really bad thing to do when you're the CEO and face of your own company. Again, we'll get to don't, that. Don't fight people on Twitter. Yeah. It, it basically, what what effectively happened was just Ikeda got Ikeda just kind of like vented on Twitter. I think a couple too many times had to apologize, and it, events occurred where he then effectively had to take a step back. Like and that's kind of like, down at CEO. Yeah, and then he basically just went back into back into the back and did a uh, more car design stuff. Right. Right. So and then fast forward. Well, hold on. I, I kind of maybe a monthish. Okay. Like it's a long chain of events we got going on here. Yeah. Long, long. I'm trying to skip to the end, but like, <laughs> yeah, kind of like get to the get to the get to the next part. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. I don't know. This one's actually a pretty hilarious incident. If you ask me, so someone asked, so he was asked to do an interview about you know being sued by Bushy Road, and then during it, he had the bright idea of calling people feeders or part time gig workers. Well, I mean, I say people, but he means specifically gate roller players. He kind of insulted a large amount of them because there's a negative stigma about feeders in Japan. I'm I'm sorry, what? Could you could you say a, a, a bunch? A bunch of what? Juan, I think you're cutting out. He called gate room. He called the players a bunch of freeloaders and gig workers, basically. His own player base. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I I don't think I remember that one. So, so that's that's kind of new to me. You dropped my memory on that. Woo boy. It's like back in January or February, in between set one and set two's release. Yeah, that's that's definitely something. And people are never letting him live. I mean, to the 
just a. I mean, just a fireball. Yeah. Oh well, I'm. Well, I'm in the city, and this is going to the secret trading card game store. Oh man, ooh, he just called me a free letter. I'm out. Yes, and for okay to to another piece of context, Ikeda. I think he owns Card Kingdom. Yep. So, which he does own Card Kingdom. For those of you who don't know, Card Kingdom is effectively one of the biggest stores in Japan, right? Large chains. One of the biggest cha card game chain stores in Japan. So, imagine one of the biggest like card like the owner of effectively the McDonald's of card games said all y'all freeloaders <laughs> yep that that's yep. wild it's crazy which I don't know how things go go on over there but like I know for a fact that if, if anyone called me a freeloader I would never buy the product again. <laughs> so. Yeah. So soon after that, you get a bunch of stores, a mix of stores, either no longer carrying the game, or people from Twitter messaging stores, telling them to not carry Gate Ruler anymore. Like directly. Heard you were carrying Gate Ruler. You wouldn't want to be a freeloader, would you? And some such. Big mess for that one comment. Something's gone fast forward. That now, finally. Not sure Zach would want that. And so this grand wisdom. He catered to the big no-no. He started directly naming people on Discord to go after, essentially. Just a whole lot of slander on Discord with customers from Card Kingdom and Gate Ruler players. Like all in the big server. You know, that's totally unprofessional thing you should never actually do. And then, during this incident, he gets pissy as more people in the server asking for information, gate ruler information. So he flips it on them and asks them for like their name, their age, their occupation, and a bunch of other totally invasive information that you shouldn't need. Their social security number. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? He might have. Shoe size. Clearly, you're not one of the people who should be asking about Gate Ruler, Mr. Uh, unemployed Loser. I don't know if he actually went down like that. Uh, Probably did. Basically. So, now, that leads us to the image that I've had on screen for the past 20 minutes. Which is an official tweet by the official Gate Ruler Twitter. Having translated by Google... Like, you, you've given... By the way, Zenon has given me all the stuff that you're about to see. You know, because he's been yep. following this from basically day one. Day, day negative one. Day zero. And this is the official tweet. Unfortunately. And... Deep regret. <laughs> so here we go. About the remarks of our development staff on SNS. The other day, we have confirmed on SNS that our development staff made multiple inappropriate statements, including slander Davy visuals. Mm, excuse me. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience of this time. We will officially announce the treatment of this matter in the near future. So obviously, so basically, he he done he done messed up, and at this point, they got we got to do something. Also, side note. All these, this mess, these, all these messages are from a new PR person that he kicked, that you know, retired 
to the kid was being a dumbass. Straight up. Yeah, that's that's right. Like because Akita was the original, uh, basically promoting his game himself, they had to take him away and put in someone else. Right. People so, answer to be known as Mr. S. <laughs> Which uh, I think we just you don't want to be this guy. <laughs> no. So you really don't. No, you don't. So, we want to rip off the band-aid and tell what happened this week. Which, all if right. you if you still been following this, you know, by the way, this will all be on YouTube later. Uh, which, you're still following this star thing. <laughs> by this point, Ikeda had, had done a bunch of things. And had, you know, he, he he's basically messed up Gabriel's PR at least in Japan, right? Uh, Gate Ruler oh, Europe has has you know done done okay, and then uh, Gate Ruler North America doesn't exist. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's a shell company somehow. It is. It, it formed on its own. That's the scary thing, <laughs> basically. Yeah. So, which and now leads to nobody knows how the official announcement, and I think we'll start with this one. Uh, ah, Yoshimasa Akira. Okay. Uh, so, this is an official announcement taken by a stream that happened. Was it a stream or was it like a official like response on uh, the... Over the letter part? Yeah, the, the letter, like a letter on their uh, website. Yeah, so on their website. Yeah, so this is the letter from the website. They did also have a stream, I think kind of like Double like regurgitating all of this as well. So let's start from the top. Uh, first image is we would like to apologize for the inappropriate comments made by our development staff Yoshi Yoshimasa Ikeda on the channel Discord Izakaya on the Discord server Card Kingdom Discord Store, operated by Yoden Co Company. I would like also like to inform you of the disciplinary action taken in response. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to express my deepest apologies to all those who have been affected. In addition, we would like to express our sincere apologies to all users of the Gate Ruler, wholesalers, and stores that handled the Gate Ruler, and everyone involved in the Gate Ruler business for the worry and inconvenience caused. We are sincerely sorry. As a company that creates content, we cannot allow Akita's comments to go unpunished. Gate Ruler and Dayu Corporation do not approve any kind of slander or defamation for any reason, and we take it very seriously that such an incident occurred at a time when society as a whole is working to eradicate various kinds of slander and defamation. We di deeply regret that this incident was caused by the inadequacy of our management system, and if we had taken action earlier, the situation would not have occurred. And for, you know, to TLDR, that first image is basically, we're sorry, and we were, and had we not, and had we acted sooner, we wouldn't have been driven to this. <laughs> they basically said, we, we messed up not keeping him sh silent for, not keeping him shut up. We were sorry we forgot to get the leash on. <laughs> so, another thing that should be let known is this was not on like the gate ruler Discord. This was on uh, the Card Kingdom Discord. You know, Ikeda's the the Ikeda the Card Kingdom Discord in his and territory. and his own his own territory. And he said it in a you know a public server, right? It's, yep. it's not it's not private. It's a public server in a you know assumedly public channel in the server. Meaning, yep. meaning straight up, uh, this. like this were views, and you can't use the oh, the views expressed by this person do not reflect gate ruler or anything. You can't really do that this time because he made the game. He is gate ruler at 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 this point. At this point, he was gate ruler. He is one of the biggest. He owns a chain. He owns the McDonald's of card games. So what? What do you really do? 
Right. And you've already had multiple problems. Here's what they do. Oh. Here's what they do. We would like to take second slide. We would like to take this opportunity to inform you that we decided to take the following actions in response to this incident. Development Director Yoshimasa Ikeda, dismissal from development, public relations, operations, and other gate ruler related tasks and projects. In addition, we would like to announce the resignation of all our board members to take responsibility for this incident. Representative Director Mas Masaki Murata, resignation. Representative Director Yoshif Yoshifumi Matsumoto, resignation. Director Takahiko Takamoto, resignation. The successor personnel will be announced at a later date, so please be patient. At the same time, we have made a formal complaint and request for improvement to Yoda Limited regarding the Discord Izakaya. Although the Discord is in server in questions outside of our jurisdiction, we sincerely hope that a similar situation will not occur in the future. And last but not Basically, least, and last but not least, the third one is Space Blizzard Short. <laughs> we'll, we'll get, yeah, they basically did what Blizzard won't do, but, or at least they don't have the balls to do yet. But we'll get to the last part. We sincerely apologize for this incident, not only to everyone involved in Gate Ruler, but to also everyone who loves trading card games. We have thoroughly trained all members of the project on what to say and how to act, and we work to prevent such incidents from happening in the future. We would like to thank you for your patience as we report on the future development of the project at the, at the, and the development system. So, you know, what uh, Visionary Vices said is the board of directors basically said, everyone get out. <laughs> you have We're messed up too. You you have messed up far too many times. You have you have not only this man is not only defamed and attacked and tried to like get personal information of a bunch of people in a you know in a in his in a open Discord server, not the game ruler Discord server, but a server he owns that is public. You, then he also defamed so many people, and that's adding to the fact that he also got a lawsuit on him. From our, our competitor and all the other stuff beforehand. So it's just been a rolling, a roller coaster of, not a roller coaster, but a rolling rock that has hit the snow and has constantly been moving, moving until it's hit a snowball that's so big it's about to knock out the Empire State Building. And, yeah. they, and they finally said, you know what? We're done. Enough. Like, wipe their hands of it. It's like, you you do not touch this game anymore. Get out. All y'all that failed to keep him under control, y'all out too. Y'all sorry as well. And Card Kingdom, we're, we're actually having a formal complaint on behalf of basically every card game player that you've been down horrendous. Like, here's the best part. The people who booted him off also left. I'm sorry, what? directors that booted him also left that's the best part about this oh yeah they they all resigned the entire <laughs> top end is gone <laughs> they all took responsibility for him man resignation yeah, how, resignation how did how did resignation. Uh, and successor personality on a later date yep they all it's basically a communist kingdom now. <laughs> the workers own the means of production. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but you're not wrong. Uh, you're you're out of this is basically rebooting the company. Yeah. Someone called Mal. <laughs> it's like you're you're out of line, but you're right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It is so let's see, this other shot of kind of this little the apology stream. I probably should probably pull up, but I'm too lazy to go at this point. Uh y'all need to see what's on my YouTube. <laughs> so apology stream, uh here's the bullet points. A kid is not in a good condition, so it cannot apologize directly today. Lies. Anyway. I mean he still I mean, yeah, he still hasn't really 
apologize for what happened. I'm not gonna say if he's like really. St- I'm not gonna be like, oh, he's he's faking. He ain't sick or or not. I'm not gonna be like that. You know, if he's not in good condition, I. It is kind of understandable. You just literally like lost your your company. You. Well, you lost your. Yeah, sorry. You lost your you lost your main company. You lost your card game, and then your second company is on fire, and Bushy Road is still trying to still trying to get you at the throat like you're you're yeah you're, you're 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 taking l's out of multiple directions i i can understand if you just want to lay in bed for a, a longer day uh second second point all the clips that are used as as a proof of a case inappropriate behavior are correct and nothing modified slash edited viciously Basically, the, the company's like, no, this is legit. This is what this is actually what he did. Like he was, he was some, he was, he was, he was renting for the wrong. He was renting, and it was real. It's like, uh, what Kata has done is inappropriate and unacceptable. To company. Uh. The company's management is also responsible for the things that happen. They confirmed they should have done something much earlier. Ikeda is not an employee, so he is dismissed instead of fired. Like you said, he he technically is not even the uh he's not even a employee, so it's like because of what happened earlier. He effectively just kinda contract now. Yeah, it was based on contract, so it's like So it's like he he was in a position where it's like it it would been harder to actually just fire him, but you could just get rid of him now because of the previous stuff that happened. He has been kicked from out from all gate real business communication tools and Discord server. All the management staff took responsibility by resigning. New management staff is to be determined. The Discord channel where this incident happened is not in Gate Ruler server. It happened in Card Kingdom server, Discord bar channel. Said channel is now closed. So they closed it down basically it's like is is cursed now. You can't keep that thing there. Third set will be released October 29th in Japan as planned. Which, you know, for for some context to everyone else too, the set three was delayed, what, six months? Or like an initial three months? Another three months. So it's like six months after set two, which ain't good. So I already had problems with like, you know, balancing and everything else trying to work together. So... Having that happen, and then other other products are in progress currently. I put the currently myself. So basically, so it's just a, other products are in progress. So what they said, they explained it. Set three finished. Going out the ship. Set four. EK to finish some unknown percentage of it. I know. But, they're gonna have a completely new development team finish the rest of it. So, chances are sent for still gonna release? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I've never seen the same set designed by two different development staff. <laughs> That's gonna be wild. It is. And then, set five. Should set five actually happen? Let if, those pigs fly. If set five happens and then they release a set six. It will officially have more more sets than uh than Drago Boy. Yeah, It'll have more sets complete seven. than Dragoborn and more sets in English than uh, original luck and logic. Like right. just just And you know what the the funniest you know what the most funny? The, you know what the funniest part of all this is, is it is the fact that this might actually save the game. Yep. It's it's one of those. It's it's so weird because I've been thinking about it this time. It's like, it's like, did they just? Uh, it, it's this weird setting of, man, they went from they were they were literally, uh, how's. I'm trying to figure out how to try to say it. Uh, it. It's like the NBA Finals. And, like, it, you're you're down 3-0 in the NBA Finals. 
and LeBron uh and LeBron James uh called the president a, a word and basically got <laughs> and then called called the refs like a, a a racial slur and then got sent sent packing in game four with you down like twenty points left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Like it is, it is that bad at the at this point, and the fact that they, and the fact that at this point they they basically like lost they lost to Braun. they down three zero in the NBA Finals. Which for those you don't know, no team has ever come back from three zero in the NBA Finals, or in any playoff game in in uh in basketball. Like it just yeah. never happened in seventy what eighty plus years. None. Three ones, yeah, but not completely win four games in a row, because it's extremely hard to win four right, games right. in a row. Because you have to basically play perfect. They just have to win one game, right? You, at that point, the enemy has the the opponent team has to only win once, and they and they clinch it. It's over. So it's very much just like a straight up. It is. It is that bad. It was. It's practically that bad. Like I've never seen a card game come back from a an issue like this. It's never been this bad for a card game. And it's even hilarious because it might actually be better because Ikeda has been. You know, I, I'm not. I feel. I feel kind of bad for him in the fact that like he basically just lost another card game, like he lost Buddy Fight. Then he lost Dominator. Then he lost Gate Ruler. And the man can create card, you know, he can create like card games, but he he's not a leader. He's not a leader. Like to like a phrase I've heard before is like he's not a leader of men, and a leader of men is yeah. able to like keep is to you know as a what what was his. As one of our he's old presence really says, like, blue ranger. as he's a blue ranger, never the red ranger. Right, you're supposed to, right. was it, like, stand tall and carry a big stick? I for, was it Re yeah. Roosevelt? Theodore Roosevelt? Who said it? It's like, basically, it's like, like, your presence alone should be enough, right? You, you can't just be talking, you, excuse me, you can't just be talking all that smack. And then expect not to get punished. Right. Were, were this any other company, probably? i say he probably is like, you know, just shut up. Just be quiet. Just shut up, shut up, shut up. Do not say anything anymore. Right. If this is still Bushy Road, he might, you know, or like say, a, you know, he used it earlier, a blizzard. Uh, He might still be there. And it's just like, just shut up, don't say anything. We'll get you out of this. Just let me... Just, you'll just have the, the, the head up, be like, shut up, don't say anything. Let me take this and get us home. Right. But this is a company that actually wants this game to succeed. And I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do for the company. If we can't sell product... Because everyone hates you, and you won't shut up, you gotta go. Same with the same with the dudes who let you get this far. We you can't have you anymore. On well, consider the following: this company was made entirely for the sake of this game, entirely. Mm-hmm. Like it's having a case of ousting someone like. Oh, the mean CEOs are ousting the lovable creator, and it's gonna kill the soul of the company. No, no, they're still the soul of the company. Like everyone there is super dedicated to Gate Ruler at this point. I, I'm, I mean, can we say he was the lovable? He was. He, I don't know how he, lovable he is if he's literally like lambasting people on a public Discord server. He's more probably relatable, cause like you know, sometimes you just you just need a vent, but you should do that in a private server, or or some place you some or do it with like in DMs with people you trust and know. It's like, hey, I, I feel bad, not what he did. 
I don't. It's a jolly chubby old man with a bow tie. Can't kick that guy out. Uh, according to this, yes you, <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, the hell you can. Take right, notes. Right. <laughs> Take notes after mission. Uh, but it is. At, at the end of the day, it, it's a hard situation to really judge. Because I don't know how. Again, th down 3 0 in the NBA Finals. Like, how do you get out of this? It's. History has basically shown it is basically impossible. You've got Especially five guns since you. In the ER. Yeah. I mean, it's not saying it ain't impossible if you recover. It's just. How? Can you? It's like, like you need, like you need a uh, Jesus himself to literally come and say, "I will make the best card game ever," and just make set three, set four, and presumably set five to be the best card game sets of all time. You know in the a funny row. Thing about you saying Jesus coming down. What the first card art we saw for set three was Lucifer descending from the heavens. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Perfect way to kick off all the said three drama. <laughs> just just the energy at that point is just basically it. Okay. <laughs> foreshadowing. Just hard foreshadowing. Okay. Well I I Well, hold on, let me let me ask you again. What do you honestly think? Before we before we close out for real, like, what do you honestly think of the situation? As someone who's like honestly, followed it, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of really liked the kid when Gate Ruler was announced. Just a bit. I was ready to be a devoted Gate Ruler fan from day zero. Stupid. I know. Incredibly stupid. But then, and you haven't seen the rules, why do you believe in this game? Because I'm an idiot. Flat out. Right. So, I mean, I love Gate Ruler, even after I've played the game a ton. I'll start learning Gate Ruler this stream. Hey, you trapped here. Anyways. I really love this game. How do you do? It's a great game. On the core level. Amazing game. I think. And I mean, the issue is with like a huge population of NTs and like people who are like hating Gay Ruler for like months now. Both because of Ikeda. If those people can lay off and if there's enough good press, and then if they get to do a lot, alright? Step to a ton of stuff PR wise and be like really on their balls until set three releases. If they can manage that, Gate Ruler might have a future. Might. I would love if it had a future. There's only for a whole lot of luck and a ton of work to rebuild relationships with stores and players. Yeah. I'm gonna give like a 20% chance. 20%? Optimistic. Optimistic 20%. I... I give it a, I personally would give it a, a 10%, but as a, as if, if you take a, if you take the words from a, the, uh, the greatest scientist of all time, soul bad guy, uh -huh. as long as it's not zero. Right. <laughs> not zero. As, as long, long as it's not zero, there's still a chance. Percent. Because outside of Ikeda, they've been doing really well so far, PR wise, recently. Yeah. All they need to do is they just figure out. Great. All they need to do is really figure out what the hell's going on with the NA branch, and I think they could they could try and make a push for a miracle here. Right. Like, consider the following. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna sound crazy. The second the actual delay part of Gate Ruler, I mean, I've said three, like, that period of the delay, like, July, 
to do one thing completely unexpected. They release a ruler from set 3 directly in the official tournament stuff three months early. And it completely revitalized the metagame. Like, completely. From both the gameplay wise and revitalizing old cards. Just one of three rulers. And we haven't even seen the actual set three cards yet. Like, from a gameplay perspective, that's kind of crazy. If you think about it, Zach. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Hopefully, the rest of those cards can be just as interesting and cool as well. Right. Okay. Look, the core game is amazing. It's only Akeda. Hopefully, everything goes right. Yeah. Well, I think that's just about everything. So, yeah. uh... Uh... Anyway, this is probably just go here. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, so anyway, uh... Zenon, let people know where they can find you. Get your plug-in out the way. <laughs> oh, right, my plug-in, yeah. You can find me every day, no, what, morning and afternoons, American time, on twitch.tv slash zenenborgvt. I'll put the links in the comments. Yeah, you can do that. Play a bunch of different games every day. Today was Darkest Dungeon. Pretty fun game. Coming soon. I might play the worst English dub on the PS2. Chaos Wars. I'll do it. Why, why would you... How dare you? Why would you do that? No. Why not? We can uh. all enjoy the experience together. Pain feels good. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. I forgot. I I think I've uh disabled things. So let me uh I need to I need to do like a shout out function and stuff. This is his actual uh This is his Twitch. Y'all can y'all can see him there. Apparently every day, except for Fridays, where he's I mean, we, like we steal him. I mean Friday mornings, but Friday afternoons. Uh, yeah. So everything. Uh, let's see. Don't you also have a Twitter or something? I'm not plugging my Twitter. Trust me. <laughs> not doing that. Well, he has a Twitter. Y'all can find it if y'all really want to. If you ever find it, my DMs are open. But anyway, uh. Anyways. Thank y'all again. Thank y'all so much for coming out. I appreciate y'all, even though it's been a month or two since I actually like streamed. I again, I apologize. Life been hitting me, hitting me in the in the in the booty, or whatever, whatever phrase I want to say it. Trying to be as PG as possible. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but life's been life's been painful. Anyway, uh, regardless, uh, this will this vlog will also be on on the what was that? I don't like how as soon as I start to end the stream, like <laughs> my my room start getting uh, creepy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this one will be on YouTube over at uh, youtube.com slash rfsx. Uh, you can join the Discord. You can join Discord. You can probably look like uh, it's probably like there's been like a couple messages earlier that happened. It's all up there. Uh, follow me on Twitter. It is. 
I won't say not safe for work, but just be careful if you see, you know, it is summer, so and I follow a lot of artists, <laughs> a lot of artists, so it is it is summertime, so <laughs> they will definitely be doing their artwork, if you understand what, my, what I mean. And on that note, uh, we will call it here. I will... Aren't you glad we didn't talk about flesh and blood? On that note, I will be back maybe tomorrow, and I probably will do the re- do the rest of the uh might do uh might do the rest of the Vanguard Zero Tower. With that, because this man brought up the demon the demon game, we're gonna call it here. Y'all have a good tomorrow night. I'm teaching, tomorrow I'm teaching Zach some gate ruler on tabletop. Goodbye, everybody. Airport.